Hello, this is Douglas Beard for Web233. I'm going to do a very short, limited tutorial on Cubis LE4, how to import, or not really import, but create a virtual instrument track. Uh, this tutorial is short uh, because Cam Studio cannot do the full nine minutes that I need uh, for this assignment. So this will be very fast and hopefully uh, very intuitive intuitive to getting someone um, in the process of using Cubis LE4. So let's start off by clicking New Product. Let's click Empty. Uh, Music Studio is my uh, personal folder. You can create your own folder. Click OK and we will open up the track or our project. So let's uh, right click in the dark gray area add add instrument track this will bring up our instrument panel come down choose Halion 1 that should be a standard uh, VSCI or virtual uh, instrument that is bundled with a Cubis LE4 click OK as you can see uh, Cubis LE automatically puts the instrument into its own personal track and it gives you uh, a decent readout of, of the instrument. To get a sound to play, we need to choose a patch. So let's click this empty bar below the name Halion. And I'm going to choose uh, Synth Lead, Ambient, or Atmospheric Pad. I'm going to click OK. So we have our Atmospheric Pad uh, up. So let's go ahead and drag our uh, start and end indicators out. And let's go ahead and double click inside. That creates our, our actual track that we will be inputting notation. Double click again, and you can see that now we are uh, able to write. And you can hear uh, the Halion 1. Uh, being played on the piano, which is using the uh, atmospheric pad. So let's grab our uh, pen tool or pencil tool and create a chord. And with our chord created, let's go ahead and copy it and put it on the third bar and let's go ahead and paste and what we can now do is drag this anywhere we want let's just drag it down there let's go back and play and there we have uh, notation uh, very simply done in Cubis using the a virtual instrument editor. So let's uh, drag this out so we can actually see that now inside of our project we can see that the chord is now in the track. Now we can also do real-time modulation of this uh, uh, instrument. So what we would do is make sure record this little red record buttons pressed. Press right, read, and over here you'll see edit instrument so we click that and that'll bring up our instrument panel so let's uh, rewind and I'm gonna bring the cutoff to 50 percent and now I'm gonna press record on our transporter And press stop, uncheck uh, right, uncheck the record, rewind, and listen to the track. As you can hear, the real time modulation has taken effect and has been appointed to the track. And that is a very simple and easy way to create music with Cubis LE4 without even touching 
uh, live instrument. You can do it all through VSTIs. You can do drums, uh, basses, uh, as you can hear, synths, and there's hundreds of thousands of virtual instruments in the world. This has been Douglas Beard for Web 233. Hello, this is Douglas Beard for Web233, and since I'm having trouble with uh, Cam Studio, I'm doing another tutorial, a quick tutorial on how to record audio uh, within Cubis LE4. So let us open up uh, Cubis LE4. And usually when you record audio, you're going to need some kind of interface uh, to bring the sound into Cubase. So let's go ahead and open up new project. Let's choose empty again. Uh, choose your folder. Now in our end project panel, let's go ahead and add an audio track. So now we have our audio track here in Cubase. And right now it's not picking up anything. So what needs to be done is you go into your device setup and you go down to a VST audio system. Now, uh, VST usually stands uh, for your virtual instruments, but in this case, uh, what uh, it's asking is where is uh, the audio source going to come from? So our audio source is going to come from uh, a Tascam US 144. And now it's asking me if I want to switch the ASIO driver, I'm going to say yes. Now as I switch that driver, you may notice some doubling up on my voice. Uh, that's because I have to go from the output of the computer back into the mixer, so right now everything's doubling up. Hopefully we won't get any feedback. So we click OK. As you can see, as I'm talking, uh, the Cubis LE meters are going up. And now to simply do some uh, audio recording, if you remember in the uh, virtual instrument uh, tutorial, I had to double click and create the track before I could create any sounds for the instrument. With live recording, all you have to do is press record and it'll automatically record the tracks in real time and in a way that is uh, doing it automatedly. Uh, or automatically, should I say, and I don't have to create the track, it's creating the track for me. So we press stop and we go back to uh, to the beginning. Now to be able to hear this track, we are going to have to go back into our device setup and uh, switch the drivers back around to the ASIO driver. So you press OK. Now this is a limitation for uh, small, small, small setups, uh, small studio setups where you have to continuously flip and uh, switch uh, sound sources and sound recording sources. Uh, in most studios, you don't have to do this. Uh, uh, basically, most uh, studio machines will have uh, two sound cards and it just uh, makes everything so much easier as well as having mixing boards and mixing hardware that is for digitally uh, transposing uh, analog audio onto a hard disk. Uh, for us home users, uh, you do the best that you can with what you got. So right now what we got is a quick recording of me talking and you can see that it recorded it in stereo so we have uh, a stereo file. So let's go back and let's see if we hear anything in the playback. And it'll automatically record the tracks in real time. And, and as you can hear, the track was recorded. Now what we can do, since this is its own track now, we can actually add uh, any kind of effects or anything that we want uh, to this track. So if we click this little E here, uh, 
we can see that we have an equalizer that uh, basically you can adjust uh, the different uh, hertz of what you're listening to and as well you can add uh, effects so let us add an effect let's add a modulation let's add transformer now let's go back and play I don't even know what he's saying, but it sounds pretty weird. Basically, what that just did was add a uh, sound effect on a track without manipulating the waveform, which is really nice because you get to keep your original waveform as uh, a track, and you basically uh, just edit the sounds over top of it. So you're not hurting your wave waveform at all. Uh, which is really cool because uh, then you could just, if you have multiple waveforms and you want to put different uh, kinds of effects on them, you can just put the waveform in a new track and then put uh, a new effect over it. So this has been Douglas Speard with a very quick tutorial on how to record uh, analog audio in Cubis LE4.